Hey guys, how are y'all? I did this back to school look for all of you girls going back to school. Those days are way gone for me. I'm not even going to talk about it. But this is perfect for uh, high school girls or college girls. If you're in junior high, you could do the same look, but maybe not with the bronzer. And instead of using a, like a foundation, you could use a BB cream only or a powder. Uh, but yeah, if you if you want to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. Hey guys. Okay, I went ahead and I filled in my brows with that e.l.f. brow kit, a Milani pencil, and the e.l.f. Uh, setting gel for your brows. I'm now going to mix the Garnier BB cream and this is the combo to oily and light to medium I believe which is too light for me and then a Revlon color stay which is too dark for me to get the perfect shade. Heads up on the Garnier BB cream I am not at all combo or oily. I am more normal to dry but I tried the normal BB cream and if you start to sweat at all or get the slightest bit oily, it is going to turn into a hot mess. So this is the Giordana 12 hour made to last eyeshadow pencil in continuous almond, I believe. It's just a great base. Um, I have a separate review for that that I'll link down below. I'm using this in place of my MAC Painterly Paint Pot. It really does lock into place. Uh, you have to work kind of fast with it though because it dries pretty fast. And it keeps your eyeshadows on like all day. Uh, this is the NYX Caviar and Bubbles palette, I believe. And I'm just taking that matte white eyeshadow with an E55 Sigma brush and just blending that and pressing it onto my eyelid. Then I'm going to take the medium shade and just slap that right into the crease. Uh, there's no precision or anything like that technique going on. This is a Sigma E40 brush, and um, yeah, I'm just blending it, windshield wipers motion, into my crease and a little bit into that on that outer eyelid. And I'm looking for a matte, uh, like a cream color eyeshadow for underneath my eyebrow, but I can't find one. <laughs> that is drugstore. So I am going to mix that matte white eyeshadow with a light shimmery shade. That way it's not too shimmer because I don't like a whole lot of shimmer going on up there. And I'm blend, blend, blending it. I'm going to take the Rimmel London Scandalize. This is in black and it's waterproof and I'm going to tight line with it. Uh, it does transfer onto, it does transfer. I've tried a lot of different eyeliners. They always transfer for me, but I do like it. It's it's a, it's a really, it's black, it's nice, it's creamy. And I'm just going to, um, well, I felt like I lost a little bit of that white shade, so I just put a little bit more of that matte white onto my eyelid. Now I'm going to conceal my under eyes with a Maybelline Instant Age Rewinder in Neutralizer. And I'm just putting that uh, underneath my eyes, in between my eyebrow, eyebrows and cupid's bow and chin basically everywhere on my face that I want to be lighter and highlighted and I'm blending that in with the beauty blender now I'm going to take the brightener shade and just apply that underneath the eyes this is the pink shade it is pretty much a dupe for the MAC radiant rose prep and prime pen love it it's amazing it's the Maybelline really did a great job with these concealers. That's the Giordana Matte Eyeshadow in White Lies, I believe, and I'm using that to set my under eyes. And I'm taking that medium, um, that medium brown that I put in the crease, and I'm applying that under, on the bottom lash line. With a pencil brush, I believe it's the Sigma one, but I don't know the number. I'm sorry. And that brown that I'm using is like the darkest brown in that palette. It's not the black, it's just a really dark brown and I'm bringing it up just a little bit onto that outer V of uh, my eyelid. I'm taking the bronzer from the e.l.f. bronzer and um, blush palette that you get for like three dollars at Target and I'm bronzing my face. I'm not contouring. This is just bronzing just to give a little more warmth to my face. That step's completely optional. You can skip it completely if you want. 
uh, that's the Rimmel Stay Matte that I'm putting on my face right now in 005 Sandstorm. I use this when I'm, you know, like to replace my MAC. Mineralized Skin Finish. I'm using the NYX Blush in uh, Pinched, I believe. It has a sheen, like a shimmer to it. Uh, it's just to help cut out the highlighting step because it adds a little bit of a highlight to your cheek foam. And I'm just going back in with that Rimmel eyeliner in black and uh, lining my waterline. And I'm going to set everything with my Scandinavia setting spray. I love that stuff. It really, really does make your makeup last all day. The mascara that I used, um, I'm letting you know I put three coats on. I have a review for it that I will link down below. And I'm just taking the lightest color in that NYX palette and uh, highlighting the inner corner of my eye and my cupid's bow and applying the Maybelline Color Whisper and Lust for Blush, I believe. And that's it guys. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye! Bye!